There are only a couple of events each year in the off-campus student housing industry that bring all of the industry leaders together. The National Multifamily Housing Council's annual Student Housing Conference is the longest running conference for the industry. 2023 marks the 20th year for this conference and is being held October 17th through the 19th at the MGM Grand Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada. This is the premier event for student housing professionals bringing together leaders from all facets of the sector, including owners and operators, investors, lenders, and university partners. The conference features the industry's best and brightest minds all at one event, delivering the knowledge, tools, programs, and connections necessary for leaders to shape their future success and the future of our industry. So who are some of the folks attending this year's conference? Let's meet one of them right now. JT, I hear you're going to Vegas. Yes, sir. Really looking forward to it. It's going to be a great time here in a couple of weeks. You know, ever since I've been involved with Student Housing Insight, um, you know, I think you and I have been to several conferences, you know, every single year. <laughs> and But this is going to be the first time we're in Vegas together, so I am looking forward to it for sure. As am I. It's always great to see you and everybody else that's on that student conference rotation. It's always a good time. Absolutely. Well, hey, for those that you know don't know about JT Bailey and that um, you're now at Real Page, I think everybody knows who Real Page is. So I don't know that we need to go through the 90 second elevator pitch on who Real Page is. Um, but you did join them this past year, and you're overseeing everything um, student housing related and the products that are serving our industry. So really quick, can you give our audience a little bit of background of what you're doing at Real Page? For sure. So, you know, we have been around for a long time servicing the entire multifamily industry and all the different markets within that. We have a ton of success and a very proven track record in multifamily and affordable. And I'm really excited to make sure that all of those products that we have that are servicing those markets so well also provide that same value in student housing. It's a market that we continue to believe is right for innovation. There's a lot of opportunity for continued growth and continue making sure that all of those student housing operators out there are working with the best technology possible. And I'm excited to be working with RealPage and our teams to make sure that all of our products are fitting those needs, hitting those specific student unique requirements and providing value overall to make everyone's lives a little bit easier. Well, there's definitely a, a ton of things that you guys are, are doing in the space and offering in the space. So I'm looking forward to, to seeing what, you know, what's rolling out and, and how you're improving those products. Um, that's going to be exciting to see. Well, as we discussed kind of leading up to this, you, you've been to Vegas quite a lot this past year, <laughs> it sounds yes, like. Sir. So, uh, you know, let's just kind of throw it out there for folks that may have not been in a while or maybe uh, maybe this is their first time going to Vegas. You, you got any uh, you got any cool shows they ought to take they ought to take in while they're there or is there anything else that you would suggest they do? The food is what brings you back to Vegas every time. I love it. There's there's great restaurants everywhere. You have all kinds of options. My wife and I, anytime we go, we go to you know a place called Bazuzu down at the Wind or a place called Best Friend over at uh, the MG or Park MGM. Awesome, awesome restaurants, awesome opportunities to go and have a great meal, great atmosphere, great time. And uh, you know, like you mentioned, I've been to Vegas a lot this year. I have a few more trips to Vegas on the on the plan for this for the rest of the year. And excited to continue hitting some of those spots that we love and, and finding new ones as well. But on top of that, if you haven't seen the Sphere yet you're in for a treat. It might be kind of a scary treat. It might kind of catch you off guard a little bit. I looked at my room and saw the moon on the ground next to me, but um, really cool experience. Vegas is always a great time for those things. And there's always something good to do. Yeah. I, I, I spent my weekend last weekend looking at, you know, what's going on and I had really kind of forgot about the sphere and, you know, I mean, I, I knew that it was coming. You know, they had the big Fourth of July opening of. It's not even an opening. It was just they turned the lights on, and um, and so I kind of remembered, you know, some of the buzz around that. And so we were looking, you know, around to see what you know what we wanted to take in, and I did not realize that the U two concert because they're doing a residential there for I think like twenty five weeks or something, and that's actually opening tomorrow from you know the day of this recording um and <laughs> there's actually um they've actually got a concert on the 18th and I, my wife and oldest daughter are going with me on this trip and we were like oh, 
oh, should we spend the money to go see you too? I just don't know. <laughs> so, um, but we are, we are going to take in one of the other, um, shows that they've got going on. Uh, you know, it's not a, it's not a live performance or anything, but it really is supposed to show off kind of the, you know, how spectacular the inside of this thing is. So I'm excited oh, yeah. about that for sure. Yeah. Before the end of the year, I got to get in there to see a show. I'm not a, I'm not a huge U2 fan, but I feel like if you, you know, as long as you don't downright hate you two, you're gonna have a great time at that concert in there. Plus, you know, some of the other things they're running. So it's a it's a cool spot. Definitely want to try and get in there before the end of the year and see something cool. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, hey, um, I want to talk really quick about this conference. Um, you and I were talking beforehand, and this is actually the first time you're going to the NMHC Student Housing Conference. Um, there's been a couple of issues the past couple of years <laughs> that kept us from, you know, going last year when it was in, my, in Miami and um, the year before that um, it was in California and not a lot of people could get out to California. But anyway, so this is the first time you're going. I've been asking, you know, the other folks in this video series, you know, hey, what is it that you like, you know, about this conference? What would you, you know, suggest to a first time person? you know, to, to come in and expect and, and try to figure out what they want to, you know, take away from it. Since this is your first time, I'm going to switch that around and say, what is it that you're hoping to take away from this as a, as a first time attendee? Yeah. So, so first of all, we kind of mentioned it earlier, but you know, I, I love going to student housing events. I love seeing the people, you know, in this industry that we work with so closely, we've built those relationships with over the years. And it's always a great time to, to catch up and, really get your finger on the pulse of what's going on in, in student housing. But on top of that, and for this one specifically, I'm really impressed with the agenda that's been put together. We've gone through it a couple of times, uh, both for myself and for my team to make sure that we're, you know, getting as much coverage as possible. Uh, you know, I've been in this industry a long time. I, I feel like I've seen everything, uh, but that's never true. That's never fully the case. There's always something new going on. There's always a new point of view, a new experience, a new something that uh, the industry has learned from. And so getting to listen to, you know, my peers as they're talking through what's really pressing in student housing right now, uh, you know, it's been a long time since I've been on site. And so it's always good to, to hear those stories, see what's going on and really continue to absorb that knowledge that both myself and the other people coming from RealPage can take back with us and make sure that we're, you know, putting those lessons into practice, putting those things into, taking those things into consideration as we're building our products and making sure that uh, we're leveraging that information to, to put out the best solutions possible. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hey, you know, one of the things that you and I've talked about taking in together for, for this trip is going to Top Golf. And uh, for those that, that don't know, um, the Top Golf in Vegas is the largest in the country. Um, and it's also right across the street, actually on the same campus, I guess is the best way of describing it um, as the MGM Grand Conference Center. So um, we decided to put something together and appreciate Real Page and yourself sponsoring that. And also, if you're listening to this and you have not received an invite from me, please email me at contact at studenthousinginsight.com. Um, if you're an associate uh, of an ownership group or a, um, a operating company or a development firm, you are invited to this. So we want to make sure that that if uh, if you've got the time available that you come out and see us. So so again, JT, thanks for you know for you guys sponsoring that. I'm looking forward to seeing the real page crew. Um, in the, in the golf bays and seeing if, uh, <laughs> seeing if our game is as good as it was a few years ago. <laughs> oh yeah. It'll, it'll be a great time. <laughs> well, Hey, let's, I want to kind of wrap this up from a standpoint of, uh, cause I know real page is, you know, constantly kind of pushing things out. Um, anything in the next year that you guys are pushing out, you know, from a student housing perspective that you want to talk about? Like I mentioned earlier, really excited about the, the market, the opportunities that we see in the room for continued innovation and, and growth in our solutions. Uh, we're continuing to put you know a lot of investment and a lot of innovation into our existing products that uh, have really served the conventional affordable markets well to make sure that we're providing that same value into student housing. Uh, but even outside of outside of that, we have some great options that are already in student housing right now. You know, simple bills, one of the easiest ways to manage your utility bills for both your residents and your site teams. We have a great product called G5 that's going to be with us at the Top Golf event uh, that handles front end marketing websites, some of the best smart digital advertising I've seen, plus a lot of things kind of in the hopper that we're working on to get out in front of everybody. And I'm excited that over the next few months, as we have more to share and more to talk about, to get that message out to everybody. Well, fantastic. Well, JT, I look forward to, to seeing you there and um, 
hopefully we can uh, we can take in a couple shows and safe travels to your team and we'll see you in vegas thank you sir looking forward to it all right take care